Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Maria. I'm a resident nurse based in the UK and as the title of this video suggests, I'm going to be showing you guys how to calculate four IV doses calculations in relation to flow rate. This video forms part of my IV doses calculation series where each week I'll be showing you guys how to work your way through different types of IV doses calculations. Each video will build upon the previous one. In this video, I'm gonna focus on flow rate and in a video that'll be out next week, I'm gonna focus on drop factor. So before we go anywhere else, what is flow rate? Or more specifically, what is flow rate in relation to volume? Flow rate is basically just the amount of liquid that passes through in a specific time. So it's flow rate is basically volume divided by time. So in relation to nursing practice and IV drug administration, flow rate basically refers to the amount of a liquid, whether it's blood, whether it's normal saline, whether it's antibiotics that passes through the IV tubing into the patient's venous system over a particular amount of time. So it could be one litre of saline over 12 hours. When calculating um, IV dosages, I like to work in steps. First, I'll do any time, any volume conversions, and then I'll actually calculate the flow rate. That's just how my brain goes through it when I'm actually in practice, like when I'm actually on the ward. This is the exact steps that my brain takes, so that's how I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it. So the first question is, patient A is prescribed 1.8 liters of normal saline to be infused over four hours. How many meals is to be delivered per minute? So we're gonna start off with 1.8 liters over four hours and they want to know how many mils are to be delivered per minute so we need to convert the 1.8 liters over into mils and we also need to convert the four hours into minutes to go from liters to mils we simply multiply by a thousand so 1.8 multiplied by 1000 will give us 1800 mils and we know that there are 60 minutes in every hour so to go from four hours to minutes we simply multiply by 60 so it's going to be four hours times 60, which will give us 240, 240 minutes. So we have 1,800 mils and 240 minutes, which is equivalent to 1.8 liters and four hours. Like I said earlier, flow rate is simply volume divided by time. So it would be 1,800 divided by 240. And that would give us the answer of 7.5 mils per minute. And that is the answer. In order for the patient to be infused 1.8 litres over 4 hours, we will need to set the flow rate to 7.5 mils per minute. The next question, patient B is prescribed 250 mils of Hartman solution to be infused over 40 minutes. What is the flow rate in mils per minute? So we're going to start off with 250 mils and they wanted it to be infused over 40 minutes. And they are asking us to give them the flow rate in mils per minute. We already have it in mils. The original units are already in mils and the time is already in minutes. So we don't have to multiply anything by 1,000. We don't have to do any time or unit conversions. So we will just simply divide 250 by 40. And that will give us the answer of 6.25 mils per minute. And that's the simple answer for that. So the third question is, patient C is prescribed 2 litres of fluid to be infused over 12 hours. How many mils should be delivered per minute? So we have 2 litres and it needs to be infused over 12 hours. They want to know how many mils need to be delivered per minute. And as you can see, our units are in litres and hours. So we need to convert 2 litres into mils and we also need to convert 12 hours into minutes. To go from litres to milliliters, you simply multiply by a thousand. So it's going to be two liters multiplied by a thousand, and that's going to give us obviously two thousand. To go from hours into minutes, we know that there are sixty minutes in every hour. So we will simply multiply twelve by sixty, and that would give us the answer of seven hundred and twenty. Flow rate is simply volume divided by time. So we're going to do 2000 divided by 720, which is going to give us 2.775 mils per minute, which is obviously, you know, three mils, if you just round that up. And that's the answer for that. Patient D is prescribed one litre of fluid over 45 minutes. What is the flow rate in mils per minute? So we have one litre and it's to be given over 45 minutes. They want to know what the flow rate is in mils per minute. We are already in minutes in terms of the time, so we don't have to convert the units, but 
for the volume, we are still in litres and we need to go from litres to millilitres. So we'll simply multiply this by 1,000, which will give us 1,000. So now we have 1,000 mils and flow rate is simply volume divided by time. 1,000 mils divided by 45, which will give us 22.222 forever recurring mils per minute. Round it up, it's basically just 22. So there we have it, four IV doses calculations in relation to flow rate. Like I said at the beginning of this video, next week I'll be publishing a video that will look at IV doses calculations, but more specifically drop factor. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you found it helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.